What's good with y'all niggas, bro? It's Vaughn. How to boost testosterone and how to gain weight. I, a lot of y'all be asking me, Vaughn, you know what I'm saying? How you, how you getting bigger or how you get so cut if all you eat is fruits and vegetables? Well, maybe because the proof is in the motherfucking pudding. I told y'all niggas that it's more protein and fruits and vegetables. Why is it more protein and fruits and vegetables? The animals that you niggas love to eat, right? What do those animals eat to get their protein? Plants and fruits and vegetables, right? So when you eat an animal, you getting watered down protein. So you might as well go straight to the source. All I eat is fruits and vegetables, right? So now I'm about to go ahead and give y'all like a list of things that boost your testosterone. Now, first off, semen retention. Y'all should already know that semen retention boosts your testosterone. You literally is holding in your life force. You know what I'm saying? Where you think all that energy be coming from and how you be getting bigger when you want semen retention, right? So that's one way you boost your testosterone. Another way you boost your testosterone is sun gazing. Yes, sun gazing boosts your testosterone. I don't, I think I already said that, but if I didn't, I'm telling y'all that now. I'm talking to my black people. When you sun gaze, sun gazing literally grows everything about your body. You're going to get taller from sun gazing, bigger from sun gazing. Everything about you is going to get bigger from sun gazing. The reason for that is because melanin absorbs sunlight. What you got to understand is plants absorb the sun to get energy. Black people have the same exact chemical structure as plants. Black people have this substance called neuromelanin. Listen to what I'm saying. We have this substance called neuromelanin. You can look this up. We got neuromelanin. We are the only people that have neuromelanin because there's two types of melanins. When people be like, oh, all people got melanin, that's false. That's false. Not all people got the same type of melanin. Black people are the only people that got neuromelanin. Neuromelanin is stored in our brain, penile gland, all through our organs. Now, everybody else got a substance called phenomelanin. Now, phenomelanin, you can find phenomelanin in your dog and a lion. You can find that in animals. That's what white people and everybody else got. Now, neuromelanin, only black people got that. You know another organism they got? Neuromelanin? Plants. Plants also got neuromelanin. Melanin ain't just a skin complexion, my nigga. And another thing, we got the same chemical structure as plants. The only thing that separates us is iron and magnesium. We got iron and plants got magnesium. If we was to switch that and we had magnesium and plants had iron, we would have green chlorophyll skin and plants would have black melanated skin. So now it shows you that, damn, we damn near some plants. We, we just like plants. Yeah, even our hair. And I'm going to make a video on this. When our hair comes out of our scalp, why do you think black people is the only, got the only type of hair that sticks up when it comes out the scalp? What happens when a plant comes out the ground? It sticks up, right? It sticks up. What happens when hair comes out of our scalp? It sticks up. We just like plants, my nigga. So we can absorb the sun just like plants and get energy just like plants. You feel what I'm saying? If you stop, if you block off the sun from a plant, what's going to happen to the plant? It's going to die, right? That's why I say black people need the sun because we is just like motherfucking plants, my nigga. So yeah, when a plant is in the sun, what happens to it? It grows. That's why when black people get in the sun, it grows. Black people are supposed to have like eight hours of sunlight every damn day. That's the truth, but we barely even get in two. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, sun gaze and boost your testosterone. It gets everything bigger about you. I sun gaze every day and I barely eat. Now, another thing that boosts your testosterone is cold showers. Now look, bro, I only take cold showers. And for all the dudes that be like, well, Vaughn, how, how cold should a shower be? Dog, if that shit ain't cold to the point you getting goosebumps, then it ain't cold enough. You know what I'm saying? Like when I get in the shower, I... Right, I turn the shower on. If I can just jump in that bitch and not be like, oh, shit, that shit cold, then it's not cold enough. You know what I'm saying? It better get you a little, ooh. You know what I'm saying? It better make you do that. Or got, you know, now, it ain't got to be freezing, but it better be a little chilly. You feel what I'm saying? Now, another thing that uh, boosts your testosterone is maca root and black seed oil. Yes, maca root and black seed oil boost your testosterone, especially maca root. I've been taking maca root for about two months now and yeah that shit has boosted my testosterone like a motherfucker maca root and black seed oil also helps you last longer and all that you feel what i'm saying now um what's the next thing and foods that boost your testosterone because i could just have this come off the dome dog i had to like make a list foods that bitch boost your testosterone one food that bitch boost your testosterone is a uh, watermelon and we're not being stereotypical like oh niggas just like watermelon now nah, that's one of my favorite fruits fruits but yeah Watermelon boosts your testosterone. Another uh, 
some vegetables and fruits that uh, boost your testosterone. Broccoli, spinach, and bananas. Now, me, I ain't really a banana type of nigga. I don't really mess with bananas. But if you like bananas, then yes, but bananas boost your testosterone. It's a good source of uh, potassium and all that. Spinach, I ain't even gonna lie, like spinach. Boom, I make it like a little salad. I put some spinach in there. Boom, I'm good. And then with broccoli, I ain't even gonna lie. I really like broccoli too. Like back when I was a football player, this was my meal plan. Boom, I used to come home. I used to get some brown rice. And oh yeah, we only eat brown food, my nigga. Like we only eat brown rice, brown bread. We ain't messing with no white rice, no white bread. We don't mess with nothing white. And I ain't like being racist. Like white, white shit ain't good for you. Like white food, that shit ain't good for you. White rice, white bread, nah, we ain't messing with that. We only messing with brown rice and brown bread, you feel what I'm saying? So what I used to do is, motherfucking, I used to uh, get some brown rice. I used to put some broccoli in that hoe. You know, so I used to mix that shit up. I used to get some watermelon and some apple slices on the side, maybe like some oranges or maybe some strawberries. When I used to cook that bitch up, I used to eat it up, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, right? We got pineapple, kiwis, and avocados. Now, if you a nigga, you like pineapples, you know what I'm saying? That's a good source of protein. Go ahead, get you a pineapple, cut that hoe up. You feel what I'm saying? You good. Kiwis, I ain't gonna lie, I really like kiwis. Now, avocados, I ain't never really tried avocados, but one of my homeboys put me on like a long time ago talking about like, hey, avocados, you know what I'm saying? They help you get bigger and all that. And the last three foods that, uh, three foods that boost your testosterone is celery, coconuts, and cabbage. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm the type of nigga, I like celery, I always did. Like, I used to just get some celery, bite into that bitch, and you know what I'm saying, I was good. Cabbage also does that too, and coconuts, you know what I'm saying? If you can find a coconut, go ahead and find a coconut. Now, how to gain weight, because I'm about to put y'all on about y'all body and shit. How to gain weight. Now, you got to understand, you got cells in your stomach that digest food every day. But what you got to understand is, those cells in your stomach don't digest food all damn day. Like, for instance... The, the cells in your stomach only digest food from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. This is why around like 12 and 1, you get so hungry because the cells in your stomach are working. And another thing you got to understand, the cells in your stomach ain't working all day. Like they, It's like a job, my nigga. For instance, you clock in to work and you clock out to work. So, for instance, at 8 a.m., your cells clock in to work and then 4 p.m., them niggas clock out. So, if you eat after 4 p.m., all that food that you ate, like when you eat dinner, which you're not even supposed to be eating, all that uh, food that you ate after 4 p.m., that shit's sitting in your stomach until the next morning until it gets digested. You feel what I'm saying? So how to gain weight? I suggest you eat after 4 p.m. Because if you eating between 12 and 4, all that food that's in your stomach is just going to be like, you know what I'm saying? It's just going to be getting digested fast. And the way you can tell if, uh, your food is getting digested fast, fans, and we're going to be appropriate here. You know when you go to the bathroom, right, and you got to uh, go poop or whatever, right? If your poop comes out all hard and it comes out all stiff, this lets you know, like, yo, that food been in your stomach for like a good minute. Like, that food been in your stomach for like at least a day or two, you feel what I'm saying? But if you poop and it just come out all normal, like it come out soft or it just comes right out, then that means that's food that you just ate and that just that shit just got out your system. You feel what I'm saying? Like your, your body just digested that food and broke it down. So if you eating past four, you gonna end up gaining weight. You know why? Because the food, I mean the cells in your body ain't even digesting that food. Now if you wanna, now vice versa, if you wanna lose weight, or you want to slim down a little bit, then eat between 8 and 4 p.m. And only eat between 8 and 4 p.m. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you eat in between 8 and 4, 8 a.m. and 4 p.m., then that food in your body is going to digest your food. Now, me, I'm going to be honest with you. If I wake up at 9, I don't eat nothing until like 12. I don't eat nothing until 12. Like, if I wake up until like, like at 9 or 10, I just be drinking water the whole time. And then I eat something like at 12 or 1. And I might eat like a little small meal, you feel what I'm saying? Or if I'm trying to like gain some weight real quick, like I'm trying to gain a couple pounds, I won't, I'll go like a whole week and I won't eat past, I won't eat until 5 or 6. You feel what I'm saying? Now, this doesn't mean, oh, at 11 o'clock, go, go in your kitchen and just be eating up everything. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying, but yeah, that's all the things that boost your testosterone. So I'm gonna run it back for y'all that if y'all missed anything. Uh, semen retention, sun gazing. You feel what I'm saying? That's that's the quickest way. Semen retention, sun gazing. That's the quickest things to boost your testosterone. Cold showers, maca root, black seed oil, the foods that boost your testosterone: watermelon, broccoli, spinach, bananas, pineapple, kiwis, avocado, celery, coconuts, cabbage. And if you want to gain weight. 
only eat after 4. And if you want to lose some weight, only eat between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's Vine. I'm out, nigga.